Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langton and today what I would like to do is show you how to add sound to your CreateJS project especially with our slideshow with sound. So now our slideshow is going to have sound added to it. And so the first thing we have to do to add sound is of course we have our script line in our JavaScript and two other things that I had to add were the slideshow sound variable and I set it equal to 100 and then we have the variable paused and that's equal to false very simple the other thing we have to add is this line of code it's q.install plugin create JS sound so that loads the sound plugin and then of course we have to load our audio files and those get loaded in the load manifest and you can see they're all right down here starting with this one to there okay and what's important here is that I named them 101, 102, 103 just like these up here so once we have all of that loaded and our program begins to run and just let me show you what that looks like. So here it is right here. 61. Okay, so if I click next, and then if I click play, it will play that. If I click stop, let's go next for a longer one. I can click st stop, play. If I pause it, okay if I click next it automatically stops the audio so there's play stop and pause so that's how it works and everything looks simple and easy so let's go to our shapes so you can see I have three shapes there I have a play button a stop button and a two pause buttons because they're two vertical rectangles Okay, and you can each see see that they each add an event listener to it. And this one runs the play click function. This one runs the stop sound function. And this these two run the pause sound function. Now in order for this to work, let's go down to our buttons here. We have next click. Okay and you can see what I do is every time they click the button it pauses or it stops whatever sound is playing okay it then does the images and then here's the slide sound variable so it becomes slide sound equals slide sound plus one and since it starts with 100 if I do this it's going to turn it into 101 so then it does the bitmap blah 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 it comes down to the if statement if the slide is greater than nine then slide is 9 and slide sound is 109. So these two match up then. Add it to the stage. We do the same thing with the previous button, but instead of adding, we subtract. But then we also go down to here, and as you can see, it says if slide is less than 1, reset it to 1 and reset the slide sound to 101. So again, we're matching them up. So then finally, if we play, our sound this is what's gonna run and so this creates an instance of the sound Now, normally if we're just pausing and playing we don't need that okay but in this case we do so then we say create dot sound dot play and then slide sound to string so it's gonna take that 101 that's a number and convert it to a string so that it can attach it to it and then we do a stage update we do something similar but we don't need my sound for the stop we just say stop and we tell it which one to stop now with the reason why we have this instance is because if we want to pause and resume then we need it to set that so it comes in here hit the pause button it says paused if paused is equal to false so if it's not paused then tell the instance to pause then we have to set pause to true if it comes in here and paused isn't false, if paused is true, it goes right to the else statement. It resumes the sound and resets paused to false. And we update the stage. 
and that's it. This, these three functions here with this little bit of code is all that's required to play sound. It's super easy. So my name is Michael Langdon, I am the learning engineer, and this is how to play sound on my slideshow with sound. And again, you can find this at learningengineer.com forward slash slideshow with sound, all written out, dot HTML.